here is so hot. I know my face is like ridiculously shiny. But it's Sunday. It's beautiful. I've been on the beach at Cormier, Cormier Plage Beach Resort. But today I'm checking in at a different hotel down the street from Black Eye Restaurant in the city, which they call La Ville. Not they call. I guess it means La Ville. It means downtown, the city. But we're here. We just got here. <laughs> it's cute. It's a cute 14 room boutique hotel. It looks like New Orleans. We were here last night um, for drinks. So I'm checking in today. And we're gonna have breakfast together. We're supposed to have soup jumu breakfast. We just got here. Look how cute. Look how cute. Look how cute it is. Isn't this the cutest? We're having a soup jumu breakfast here this morning. So waiting on everybody else to get here. I'll give you guys a quick little tour. I'm doing an actual tour with the um, owner, Dominique. She's here somewhere. So we're getting ready to have our breakfast, brunch, soup jumu. K patient soup jumu Sunday breakfast here so yep this is where I'll be everybody is taking way too long to get here but Angie's here Jean-Luc is here from under the ocean. Um, at the time, a lot of the fishermen would dive in and go sell them for the weight of the metal. So my mom started gathering them here to sort of preserve them. We have amazing anchors. Um, fortunately, in 2008, there was a law passed to protect these treasures. So now people have the obligation to give them to museums and to the state. But before that, in 2004, there was no law. So we were kind of gathering them to protect them. So it's really nice. impressive work. Now that's nice. This is the lobby. Well, here we really, at, we lived in the hotel for about 10 years. So we treated it as a um, our personal living room. We have our books here. A lot of the paintings that I grew up with in my home. Um, this old radio actually was given to me by our, one of our providers because he broke his arm and when I saw him I gave him like a support for his arm Aww. and he said I'll be right back and he came back with his radio and offered it to me because we already had this one from my mom oh, wow. they're really really old and a lot of people come here and recognize it because they oh, grew up with gosh. stuff like that yeah we have I've this never one seen with that. the disc <laughs> DJs love this one every DJ in the world seen. that comes here they love it <sighs> yeah we have a lot Linus of Phillips. Yeah. <laughs> what I love wow. about this one, I, this is worth it. Is that it was a gift, and it's the only one that says Haiti. Wow. There it is. BBC Haiti. I think it's super cool. Brazil. Oh my yeah. God. So that would be like the station. Yeah. So if you so went you could, to yeah. number. Exactly. Oh, that is so cool. That's how you navigate it. <laughs> that is too cute. Oh, look at these. And those are the old irons that people used to use. Oh my, I have to you give my mom one of these. put it under the shovel. My mom's a seamstress, she would go crazy for one of these. And they have an old sewage, uh, sewing oh. machine too. Yeah, a lot of old stuff. We're really big on old, old, old stuff. Um, so we have a tiny new artwork here also that we try and preserve. By the way, you should go to St. Suzanne. Saint 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 Suzanne. This is where the, the rocks from the Tainos are. Oh. So the original petroglyphs. This is over 800 years old. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And we're going to go to my favorite spot, which is the hip store. Yes. This is my hobby. 
This is where I get to buy everything I can't have for myself, but I put it there for other people to get. Oh, so people can purchase this everything stuff. Everything is made in Haiti, and Ooh. everything is handpicked by me. So, a oh, lot of goodies. These are so cute, guys. Look at these. And this says... This is made by Women in New York. It's a really interesting entrepreneurial network of women who sew at home, and they bring this stuff over to their network. Beautiful. We have some cookies, we have some, cookie. oh. uh, drink mixes, like basic uh, drink mixes. We have coffee, we have chocolate made in one Ahmed. Of course we have rums, we have cards made in Gonaive. I love Selecto. Yes. I think this chocolate is a new product. Chocolate is delicious, we'll have some later. It's made in one Ahmed. I just got connected. Somebody just connected me. I started following the girl that does it. She was she was like in New York this weekend. Super interesting. She's fascinating. We have those amazing notebooks made in Gonaive. A lot of it is from goat skin, which means from goat skin. Yeah, Kabit. That's a passport cover. I have to get one of these. Super cool. This is a, so a bag cute. tag goat skin too. I love that everything in here, like you said, is. Locally made in made. Haiti. And Locally I can made. back up every organization that's in here because I visited their work, I know their policies, I know their wages, I know what they're doing. Everything here is 100%. That is Local awesome. Local bracelets I love, made out of clay. They're really cool. Love, love, nice. love. Nice. <laughs> and I want this love. <laughs> oh, okay. look at this. Coffee cups. Super cool. Oh, this is Papillon. Yeah. Oh, Papillon does their stuff from, isn't it trash or clay? They recycle, yeah, they have recycled like bags. Like boxes yeah, and yeah, cornflakes yeah. and stuff? Yeah, okay. totally. They have um, necklaces like this made out of recycled uh, yes, cereal boxes. Yes, I two br bracelets yeah. that was made from cereal boxes. Yeah. But the, I have to get one of these. I've always wanted the to purchase. I love the coffee cups too. No, I'm, I have to in my, this color of my kitchen, so I have to get. Okay, so this. This is the hallway to the public bathrooms, but it's also my little corner where I hide things <laughs> that my missionary clients can't see. Oh. So these are beautiful dresses that I've worn to a few ceremonies, actually. And I decided I'm never going to do it twice. They're once in a lifetime experiences, so I frame them. So I, I, I love so this. And like I was telling you, I think that what I try to do with all the walls in this place is promote things that we're taught to be embarrassed about mm. and just put them on the forefront and say it's beautiful and look at it as art and beauty not for anything that you've been taught to think that is bad yeah because i saw them last night and that's the first thing i thought i'm like because my mom's a seamstress yeah. so i saw this and i was like oh this is so beautiful and what's amazing about this dress is, is the people it relates to i've had people from the netherlands come in and say oh my god this looks like folk dresses that I've seen in my neighborhood when I was yeah. growing up and it, it brings people together around something that patients usually would think is negative or dark you know so this is I love this my little art tables from Jacmel and the board games that I use as painting so it's kind oh, of these are board games yeah they're board games but it's art everything is art so I love it you're giving me ideas for my house <laughs> let's go up so I mentioned earlier that the booth is 14 rooms. 14 rooms, it's very small. Um, and everything has a story, everything is, is personal and intimate. This painting is probably my favorite piece of art here. It's by Jean Adrien Seyid, who's really known, but he always does landscape, like mm. Atiboni, really green stuff. He offered this to my mom because for him, he needed to represent the strength of the citadel and what the monument represents but also the strength of women. So I it's only this. women looking towards the citadel. So it's really, really a, a, a treasure this we have. so beautiful. I love it. So this is some of the art going down the stairs. Yes. This is the view from down. Art overload. No, I love it. <laughs> this is another piece from Mona Mules that has an interesting story. I got this in France, but Mona Mules is obviously a Haitian artist. And the reason I got it in France is because a few years ago, uh, a journalist published an article in the Haitian art saying that it was so available and not unworthy that you could you should buy it by the meter instead of buying it for what it's worth. Wow. So when when Amos heard this, he painted over 300 meters of this cardboard roll and flew it to, to, to France 
and then he sold it by the meter. So he was cutting it as you decided how many meters you wanted. So I bought you know, three meters, I think. And he was like, here's how you sell real art by the meter. So I love this. Okay, we're gonna go into the first room. Every room is different. Every room has a personality and people grow to know what they want and what we want to come back to. Beautiful. And this is, we have the Haitian Constitution, we have a little shout out to Ozazo Bobo, to Saint Louis the Indigenous Army, um, what do we have here? La Paix de la Liberté. So it's very, and we're mixing it with Chinese statues and Japanese art. So it's, I like this room because it's like a meeting point between things that usually don't connect. We have our Greek Roman statue, Moroccan furniture. And it's a way to say that Haiti has room for every, every piece of beautiful art can interact together here. No, I love it. So this is a king? A king size ocean view room. And how much is like a room for this, um, one of these to make a king room go for? For one person, 145, including taxes and breakfast. Nice. Yeah. And you can book a room. You can book a room by phone, by email, and through booking.com, TripAdvisor, and very soon on my website. <laughs> <laughs> we have some books here, and Histoire d'Haïti, some of my favorite books, and um, some books on and the indigenous population of Haiti, so the tiny books. Cute, let's do the bathroom. Let's do the bathroom, go ahead. Oh, this is beautiful. Our soap is organic, um, shampoo too. It's um, Haiti natives. Ah, probably had a what is her name? Too. Caroline. Oh, Caroline. Yes. She's so sweet. Yes. She's another person that's like very passionate oh my about God. her work. I'm happy we met in cross paths. So we have a product in the booty too. And it's, it's really no, cool. she is amazing. Thanks. Turn on open the curtains. So this is another king? Another king room. Okay. So a lot of the furniture in the rooms I make with the team of, of people that I work with. Oh. This headboard is the first, my first shot at a Veve headboard. <laughs> it's not quite finished yet, but it's coming together. It's coming together. And I the love the idea of recycling things that are old and you know, and just making it, making it become something else. I have this old ladder from my boss that I use here. I love how you use the things that you love yeah. as art and you include them Thank in the you. hotel. Like this chair was given to me and I didn't know what to do with it because it's not very strong. So like you just put your glass of water or your telephone on it and it's fine. Adorable. Well, just so you guys know, by the way, the room, um, it's um, air conditioned. There's a fan, however, it's an air conditioned room. And it's basically sort of soundproof. Now we have a few cracks in the window. But oh, yeah, you close the door. Everything is closed, it's completely soundproof. So nice. now the front door is kind of open to air that a little bit. Nice. Continue. This might have been offered to me. This is a tap tap bench. So I really love this piece because I think against the green wall it really works. Um, no, this is a picture wall. Absolutely. <laughs> With the bench. With my tap tap bench. Yeah, we're going to probably take a bunch of pictures here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a art overload room. Okay. So here we have at the entrance we have 
an original Taino chair. This was unburied in Pilat, so this is basically about 800 years. And people think I'm crazy to put it here, but I trust my guests to take care of it properly. This is my little collection of cafetiere. <laughs> These are so adorable. <laughs> All sorts of cafetiere. I'm in love with this bathroom because this is typical Haitian mosaic work and I really, really like it. So it's kind of warmer than the other bathrooms we have. And I love this little art deco um, kind of piece of furniture we have there. All of it is made from Akanju, so uh, mahogany, so Haitian mahogany is a really good piece. So, really cute. This hotel is like a museum. <laughs> this is like a Haitian museum. I made this um, bed uh, headboard with doorknobs. So it's, I think it's pretty. I like how it came out. That is and, too cute. Yeah. Look at, look at the lamp. And this artist, so all of this room has one artist, Miger, that my husband made me discover. He is the landlord of a gallery in Jacques Mel. He's like 80 years old and he started painting after spending his entire life surrounded by art. And this is what he does and we're both really in love with it because it has this fresh, naive kind of look. So the entire room is, is his pieces. Wow. This is Niger. We have this really... I think it's, he's, he has a name for himself now. A lot of people have fallen in love with Oh my gosh, look how he spelled his name. Yeah. I love this desk. So this room usually we'll give it to people who are here on business. We have the leather top desk. It's a really comfortable place to work. If you want to work with the other water, you can just pull this. Open the windows and you have your desk facing the water. So usually, depending on what people are here for, we'll decide what room we get them. Nice. Let's move to the last. Ocean view room. See, so you don't really hear the music. You don't hear the music in the room, and Here's you come out. from above with the turtles sunbathing. <laughs> Looking for a little bit of sun. The turtles are part of the family. <laughs> this room is a little bit more romantic. It this is. is a little softer. Or somebody coming in for a weekend that wants to get away, this would be your room. More undercoat. This is so cute. I'll tell you, it's look. This here. A lot of things too. It's the Trinity. It's I don't know. You were saying yesterday mm -hmm. you get the bathroom. So it's you and your sister that run yeah, yes. the hotel, but yes. it originally belonged to your mom. To my mom. And yeah. then she left it for. My mom passed away last year, a year and a half ago. Oh. So we kind of took it over a little earlier than planned. But we had been working here for about four years. Yeah. Did you change any of the things that she had, or you guys, or all you guys had the same concept of what you wanted? My mom this to be? is the one that taught me to kind of look at things that are old and maybe not appreciated, and see the beauty and potential for recycling and potential for upcycling, like they call it now. So we definitely kept that spirit, but um, I don't know if it was a coping mechanism. When she passed, we started a new phase of renovation, so everything you've just seen is a year old. Wow. So we really kind of re-embraced the spirit and up upgraded everything, um, but she didn't have a chance to see it. But everything downstairs is still original, and it's a lot of pieces we had home. So she's very much in everything that's here. It's just 
we kind of took it a notch up. Beautiful. She I would be proud of me, ladies. Uh, I think we have a double row I can show you. Okay. And it's pretty much that. Double, Double row. Okay. This obviously is driftwood and old lantern. Um, I love that. What is this smell? Probably the wood. It's Basically, sweet. every I wood we use. I love the smell it's here. It's either mahogany or uh, cedar. Is that how you call it? Oh, I have no so, idea. It's so just it, it smells, smells really good. so good. Year after year after year, it keeps its smell. So I think it's what gives it a fresh scent. Yeah, it has this relaxing, yeah. calming smell in too. here. Yeah. Oh, it's tricked your brain. Oh, I just walked in here, just, <laughs> just felt that peace. Yes, I just, I think that's what we go for, peaceful. So this, these headboards I made using um, the nails that they use to make the ceilings. <laughs> Putol. This is Putol. Wow. And I thought, you know, sky and sand, because we have a lot of sandy, Things happening here, the driftwood, the lanterns, very kind of embracing the proximity to the ocean. Now we have what the single rooms look like and a double. double. Yeah. So we can follow you out to the lobby. Yes. Let me close this. Let's go. My angels from Noai. Noai is just an amazing city in Haiti that you should totally visit. Everyone there is an artist. The entire population of the city is making art day in and day out. Were they here last night? Yes. <laughs> They've been here nine years. Wow. No, this is too cute. And this is a very undertone but, um, homage to my mom. So she loved her turtles. So we just we put this little plaque for her. That was her favorite spot to be. So. 